For the Arctic Cadillabra Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate and what else? Land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animals to raid for them. That climate you want to know, and here we go. We got summers, short, zero below. And we got winters, long in duration, temperatures minus 40, ain't no vacation. There isn't much precipitation, 200 millimeters in this destination. With the Arctic Cadillabra Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate and what else, land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animal terrain for them. Now the land forms begins, the Inuition Mountains, sorry bro, there ain't no fountains. With the Arctic Cadillabra Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate, and what else, land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animal terrain for them. The water drains in the Arctic Ocean, yeah, that's the locomotion. With the Arctic Cadillabra Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate, and what else, land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animal to raid for them. Soils are permafrost. Has it ever crossed your mind that there's also other kinds of soil? It's called tundra soils and bare rock. Don't you mock. With the Arctic Cadillabra Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate and what else, land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animal to raid for them. Vegetation is grass and trees, but the Arctic Cordillera has barely any of these. There's no coniferous or deciduous trees. Yeah, tundra means the trees. With the Arctic Cordillera Eco Zone, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know, like climate and what else, land for and strain use, so is vegetation, human use, and animal to raid for them. For human use, there isn't much, just hunting and fishing and trapping and such. There's also tourism.